Howdy everyone, and it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. So, for today's feature, folks, I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing one of the older features they made back in the past. I mean, way in the past, like as in the early 1990s. So, I'm going to use this as an excuse to talk about some of the older films, of course. And it was the original Lion King. I figured I would review this since it's definitely one of the more popular films that they made. So I just thought I'll I'll do it because why not? This definitely became one of the most popular anime animal themed animated feature that they ever produced. So you think I would have uh, I would have been reviewed this? But no, no. It took me quite some time to actually get to this, folks. So I just finally got to it. Really, I did review the remake of this ver of this film, and it was honestly it was terrible. I mean, granted, I was never the biggest fan of the original uh, Lion King, really. Relax, relax, folks. Uh, don't get all angry in the comment section. I never said it was a bad movie at all. I it was just never a huge fan of the original film. That is all. That, that could be as to why I, I I was really hesitant on reviewing it. So, of course, they turned it in the franchise. There's other parts of to it, of course. I did review one of their direct-to-video uh, stories already, but. I know they made more, but I'll get to it when I get to it, I guess. But anyway, I just figured I would do this because it is an animated film that they made, and I wouldn't use this as an excuse to talk about it. Well, anyway, as usual, I do have to talk about the plot, so let's just get right into it, shall we? So, of course, the theme here is going to be animals. Of course, how a young cub has to basically become... You know, an adult, so to speak, because it's going to definitely face a lot of challenges in his life. So anyway, it tells the plot of this character named Simba. And it's going to be this young lion, and he's supposed to be the successor of his father. Whom is supposed to be the king of these pride lands. However, let's just say that things doesn't exactly go as easy as planned. Yes, there's a new member of the family that's been born and whatnot. And everybody is happy, everybody's cheerful, is, you know, cheering the young, cub, the young character and whatnot. And of course, the father character couldn't be any happier. So, alright. However, this happy moment is soon cut short because, let's just say, the villain character does eventually kill off the, the father. So, yeah, talk about his own tragedy. Well, again, this is supposed to be a story, and you're supposed to have some sort of conflict. Anyway, and yes, of course, that's going to happen. It's not going to be easy as it seems, of course. So, let's just say that kid has to learn about responsibilities and whatnot. And then, of course, he might be acting like a bit of a brat at first. Oh, yeah, of course, folks. That one character, that villainous type character, yeah, him, he would definitely become an important character part of the entire film. So, and even though he's in some ways is used as a plot device just to push the story forward, but at the very least, it, the film does attempt to give him more character than just a plot device, and that's it. But they do attempt to give him more of a, a backstory and whatnot. Of course, he's going to have some followers of his own, because like, just like in every you know, good bad guy kind of a thing, they tend to have followers, I guess, and that's definitely the case here, I suppose. But anyway, Simba and his father are targeted by the, the better uncle, who basically wants to, you know, throne himself. He wants to be the best of the best, of course, and wants to make sure that nobody is left standing in his way. Because that's the kind of, that's kind of a character he is. So, yeah, let's just say... He can do a bunch of stuff to get what he wants because he's a villain that is determined to do whatever it takes to get everything. 
and his power to make him the most powerful in the in this kingdom, which I guess that's his goal. So yeah, folks, yeah, we're good to see that you know he's he's born this character. He's born, then you see him grow up to be this adult character and one, and he pretty much has to take care of the family, of course. And it's not gonna be easy. It's definitely not gonna be easy at all. No sorry. So it's definitely something that it's gonna sit around. I guess, you know, like it's kinda like a coming of age kind of a thing. At least that's how I took it anyway. If anything, this film is kind of so like a progress on this character's life. I used to get older. We see him very young. And he's he lives in this bright land and whatnot and explains that his yeah, his father is informing him how the, about the responsibilities of what he must do and whatnot. So, yeah, it starts real young until he gets much older, of course. So, things haven't really gotten easy, really. Well, like I always said, folks, that's the one thing I always say in a lot of my videos. If there's no conflict, then there's no drama. If there's no drama, then there's no story. And if there's no story, then there's no reason for me to care at all. And this one actually does attempt to have a pretty solid story. I mean, okay, it may not be the most original story ever. This kind of a story I've seen quite a few times, where you know, see a main character is he is up to a, he's suddenly up to a task to for this great responsibility for this kingdom, and because his a parent sometimes the parent and somebody that's close to him wants to put him on to get rid of him. This kind of story telling was done before, sure, but still, I take when I get get, I guess. But for what it's worth. This is not the worst story ever told. Maybe a bit generic, maybe, but it's an entertaining movie for this worth. And I, I can get what they're trying to do here, obviously. You're trying to tell the story of these characters, how they live their lives, how they go through with certain situations, of course. And yeah, of course, it's going to involve a parent dying. But you gotta make it dramatic somehow, so there's that. I know Disney, uh, the company, has all been often been accused for hating parents because when you think about it, a lot of their, uh, a lot, a lot of their more well-known films have the characters' parents dying and basically being left in them abandoned in some sort of way. I, I guess that's kind of happens with this character. He has to learn a lot of stuff and love life on his own to some degree, I guess. And because his papa died. But that kind of reputation that this studio has is, is pretty stupid it, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Disney's hating parents. I mean, really? Really, people? Did anybody watch Brave? Just look at that. So, what are you talking about? So, okay, let's not make this video be too dramatic, I guess. So, anyway, yeah, just talking about The Lion King, the whole idea with the with the story and whatnot, of course. So at the end of the day, you can do worse, I guess. You can do worse. I know a lot of people ha really like this film and they really enjoyed it, but that's fine. I know, just like I said, it was never really my favorite, really. It's just kind of odd. Also, concerning the fact, I like I like animals. It's just animal theme movies were never really my thing. But anyway. This was, for what is, like I was saying, for what it's worth, the, the voice acting was actually pretty good, of course. The animation is top notch, it is Disney for crying out loud. The music is nice, all, all the things that you expect from a Disney film is it's there. The great animation, the great voice acting, the great music, the, all the movements are very smooth. The entire film looks and feels as if it was preferentially made by a company they really want to invest on what they want to do, and that's clearly the indication here. They really want to put a product out there which became really popular, and it got a lot of positive reviews on opening release. So during its initial release, folks, which was on June 15th of 94, it opened with a very positive reaction from critics who praised the film for its music, themes, story, animation, voice work, and so on and so forth. So this film became one of the highest grossing released films of 1994. And of course, the highest grossing film, animated movie, 
And yeah, that's definitely a good thing, of course. And of course, you have to keep in mind this was also done in the traditional style of animation. Which, to some degree, yeah, I do miss, I, I gotta admit. But nothing against the CGI animation, of course, I'm just saying. So yeah, this film, of course, received a lot of positive praise at the time. It was also the highest grossing traditionally animated film of all time as well. And as well as the best selling film on home video, having sold well over 3 million copies of the VHS tape, of course. Not counting the, you know, the DVD, Blu-ray, or digital download, of course. So anyway, so I guess in a lot of ways, you could say the film must have done some right, I guess. So anyway, I guess I'll give credit when credit is due. So that's definitely a good thing there. So anyway, I can say that, I can see what they were trying to do, I guess. And that's what they, they want to make a, a movie where everybody can enjoy it, of course. The Lion King earned two Academy Awards for its achievement in music and the Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture, Musical Comedy. So that's definitely something I guess you can count for they want to do, I guess. So it's definitely something that's considered as a, something important for the Disney stuff, of course. So I guess that's a good thing there, I suppose. So anyway, yeah, this was definitely a film that a lot of people liked, obviously. So, yeah, it's something that a lot of people wouldn't mind watching over and over again. There's also, like, video games based on this as well. Even books or whatever. So that's also definitely something as well. So it definitely inspired a lot of merchandising as well, like blankets, pillows shoes, cl any type of clothing, so on and so forth. So that definitely is something there. So, yeah, it must have done something right, I guess. But anyway, I will definitely say that, you know, I, I don't want to give too much detail on the story, really, even though this movie is already over two decades old, but okay, whatever. So, yeah, at this point, a lot of people, or at the very least, the vast majority of Disney fans had already seen this movie, so I, I guess I, should, I shouldn't worry about too much spoiling things, I guess. But in that case, the video will be a lot longer than it already is. Uh, but anyway, folks, I'm not going to just cut this off in just a minute, because there's still a lot of Disney stuff I want to talk about. There's still plenty of movies from Disney I want to talk about. And among various other topics, I'm going to bring up, bring up as well, so stay tuned for that, obviously. Well, anyway, so yeah, if you're one of those few, few, few people who have not seen this film as, as, as of yet, check it out for your own take, I guess. So anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.5 out of 10. It gets a 7.5 out of 10 for me. So, of course... As usual, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya, oh yeah. Nobody messes with our home. Now get this place cleaned up. Mina's not a droid, Chuck.